Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here, my name is Chess and I post videos every single week all about home decor, home styling, a little bit of fashion and a little bit of lifestyle and vlogging in there as well but if you like content like that then I would love if you could subscribe to my channel. It's Saturday today, Jake is away on like a lads weekend so I have the house to myself, I'm free to film wherever I like so I got up at 8am, did a little bit of content creating and like editing and stuff like that and I've also been doing a little bit of styling, I've styled up my Neptune, is it going to focus, let me just tap the screen, I styled up my little Neptune dupe flower dahlia from B&M, honestly it looks so Neptune vibes I can't even get over it, it was £8 Let's just get back in focus again. It was eight pound for like a bunch, like a ton of flowers on the one stem. I showed them in last week's vlog if you are a regular watcher and I just chopped them all off with like pliers. Are they called pliers? I don't know, like the really strong scissors that are in a toolbox. I chopped them all off with that. Yeah, they just look so much like the Neptune Dahlias. So today I'm actually heading out to meet some Instagram friends from my local area. The Blossom Home and Home by Rebecca, if you follow those accounts, you probably do already because we're all like similar like home aesthetics. So yeah, I'm gonna meet those girls, Helena and Rebecca. I'm really excited to go meet them. We're going for a Starbucks and then just gonna go and have a mooch around the shops and I'm gonna bring you along with me as well. And then I'm also gonna do a little bit of DIY as well on today's vlog. Like those rattan boxes that I showed in was it last week yeah last week's Amazon haul I'm going to whitewash them today because it just creates like such a nicer look than that orangey kind of rattan look so I'm going to do a little bit of that and then let me show you what came last night so this is what Jake's left me for my little DIY day and um, this is the paint that I used last time when I whitewashed some trays from Amazon. I can't take credit for this idea, by the way. A few years ago, Home With Cat shared a reel of her whitewashing like a tray to make it look very Neptune-like. And that's where I got the inspiration from a few years ago. And I'm doing it again today. So excited for that. We'll see if I mess it up or not. And then I'm showing you this scallop dinnerware set again. I showed you it last week in my B&M and Home Bargains haul. But if you watch that video, you'll know that I ransacked the shelves in this B&M that I went to. But the didn't have the full set I wanted four of each and I popped it on my stories and stuff and my last technician Jordan messaged me and said that her fiance actually works at one of the biggest B&M's like somewhere I don't know where but and she asked me would I like him to get me the like the bits that I needed so I was like oh my god yes please that would be amazing so she came around last night and gave me the final bits she gave me two more of these big plates and one more side plate and now I've got a set of four I've just posted a reel of this on Instagram this morning and everyone's saying how beautiful the dinnerware set is it's just stunning I cannot believe it's B&M can you believe it's B&M? Because it just looks so beautiful and like high end. I just love it. We'll see how long they last, like whether they're hard wearing or not. But for the moment, I am in love. Okay, I've just got you propped up on a tin of paint. And I thought that I would just unbox this package that's arrived. I don't know what it is. You know when you order that much stuff and like you're waiting for things for a few weeks and I've just forgotten what it is. So I thought that I would just open it on camera with you all and get some scissors. Oh my goodness, this is not home related at all. <laughs> I forgot I ordered this. This is, oh well, I'll just keep it in the vlog anyway, but it's a ukulele. <laughs> oh my goodness, I forgot I ordered this. So if you don't know any like new followers or subscribers around here, I am a primary school teacher. I teach in year one and I thought that I would do a little ukulele club at school for some of the older children, maybe not my year one children, but for some of the older children. And I thought that I would just buy a ukulele first. I used to have one when I was younger and I can play the ukulele, but I don't know where my, my old one is now. So I thought I'd buy a new one and I went with pink because I love pink and everyone at school knows that I love pink. So I've gone for that. And I thought that I would just buy it and like practice a little bit before I start the club. So there we go, ukulele. I never thought that I'd be showing a pink ukulele on a YouTube video before, but there we go. <laughs> There we go, I can't believe I'm playing the ukulele on a YouTube video. I've just tuned it up and I will have to start practicing some songs again. I did used to play the ukulele, but my main thing when I was younger, I used to play the guitar. I used to play like Taylor Swift, Ed Sheeran all the time, like every night. I used to love playing the guitar and then 
as you get older and stuff and college and uni you just I don't know you just get busy don't you so I do like to pick it up every now and again but I'll enjoy doing your clearly club with the children <laughs> okay musical interlude over I'm just gonna have a freshen up before I go and meet the girls I thought I'd just come and see my little baby hello hi gorgeous hi you want some snug snugs oh you do you do want some snug snugs Hi, baby girl. Hi. You're so cute. I find it so cute how she just sits and like puts her head down and just like is like stroke me, mummy. <laughs> Just a little update for everyone, a bunny update. When it's Feb half term next week, Blossom is going to move home and they can be together. By the way, I sorted all the treats out as well. I've, well, I've, I've kept the treats in the jars that I already had them in and then I put all her, her forage in these bunny jars. Don't they look so cute? She's literally like dancing around my feet because she wants a treat. Hi, baby. Excuse these shoes, everyone. These are just my bunny room. They're not even mine, they're Jake's. They're Jake's bunny room shoes, so I just wear them when I come in. Do you want your treat? Come on then. There you go. Want to take it? It's a bit big. Oh, look at that paw. <laughs> you take it. Good girl. See you in a little bit, Bonnie. You enjoy your little treat. Oh, is that nice? Yum, yum. We've just spotted oh God. <laughs> these <laughs> neutral bunnies and there's three. One for us all. <laughs> We've just seen the William Morris jug that I showed in my Amazon haul in Home Sense. So they've got all these different designs as well. Becca's getting one. Helen, are you getting one? <laughs> She's getting one. <laughs> Love it. Do you want them both? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. So me and Becca have just got nice normal size bags. <laughs> Helen is walking out with a giant home sense bag. But you have got some gorgeous bits. Hey guys, I'm back home now. I've just changed into my comfies. I've just got these leggings on from Lounge. They are so comfy. It literally feels like silk on my legs. And then I've just got this hoodie on from Jake's Cousins brand, True Blue. Love their brand. I'll link it down below. You need to go and check out True Blue because she, Ella, who runs it, is Jake's cousin and basically my cousin as well because it's just like family she works so hard and her styles and everything she does bikinis and hoodies and all sorts of stuff so i'll link it down below because you'll want to check it out there's some really nice bits on there but anyway i'm in my comfies i'm home now but it was so nice to meet helena and rebecca honestly such lovely girls and it's so nice to like go shopping with people who love home shopping as well so like we we're all like saying oh yeah that's nice that's nice and like being a bad influence on each of us to be honest like maybe I wouldn't have spent half as much as I did spend if those two weren't there but hey ho I did pick up some really good bits so I'll show you those in this video as well but now I just want to get on with the whitewashing because I've got my mum and my sister coming over later for a takeaway we're going to watch like wedding programs I'm so excited it's like a cozy night in but I want to try and get at least like one or if not two or all of them done before they come so I'm gonna try and do that I'm gonna do like a reel as well so if you see me like doing stuff for the reel just ignore that I'm just gonna take everything off the dining room and do it on there I think but I don't want to get any paint on the table got this old towel that I only really use if I'm like sleeping in my fake tan or something so 
I'll just use that because I don't mind if it gets a little bit of paint on it. I think I remember last time I like wiped a bit off onto some cardboard and then like dabbed in from there I think so that it wasn't too wet going on. When it goes on it looks like very white but when it dries it looks a really nice colour. So I really like how it's looking so far. I feel like I'll have to touch up a few areas. It dries so quickly as well but like I can see it's just a tad patchy in some areas, but from afar, doesn't it look like a really good Neptune dupe? Like just the style of the rattan and the colour of the whitewash, I just feel like it is a really, really good Neptune dupe if you don't want to pay the bigger price points. Okay, so I've painted them all. They're just drying, but when everything's dried, I'll see if there's any like patches that need to be topped up, but I'm loving how they're looking so far. I've got this like bit of cardboard that I would just like brush like get a little bit of paint off so that it wasn't too like much paint on there and then this is the paint I used it's the shabby chic chalk based furniture paint and I've literally had it years and I only use it to whitewash rattan pieces <laughs> So whilst they're drying, I thought that I would just show you all of the things that I picked up. I feel like I'm always just doing hauls lately. I just can't stop spending, basically. We went to Home Sense, TK Maxx, Home Bargains and Dunham, and I think I picked up something in everywhere apart from TK Maxx. So let me show you what I got. Just start lighting a little bit. It's going dark so quickly. It's literally pitch black and it's, well, it is 5.20, I guess it is night time, but I was just saying to the girls today, I can't wait for when it's just still bright at this time. Like I was looking back in my camera roll from summertime and I saw a picture that I took at like half seven and it was just bright blue skies outside. I just can't wait for that time. It's such a better time when it's lighter in the mornings and lighter in the evenings, isn't it? But anyway, let me let me show you what I got. So from Dunelm, I saw these like, I want to say like lino like mat type things, lino mats. And this is for the bottom of Bonnie's litter box, Bonnie and Blossom's litter box, because whatever I put in there, she chews because she just chews everything. And I'm hoping that she won't chew this because it's kind of like plastic. And I thought it, it's easily wipeable if like we or anything gets on that, I can just wipe it, wipe it clean. And I think it's quite like cute and stylish as well. Like I would have these tiles in a bathroom, you know, if I had a different bathroom, not a new build. So I thought it was quite a good little purchase there. It was reduced from 18 to nine pound. It's the same size as what I need. I just need to cut it down a little bit, but the width wise, it's the same. And yeah, I thought they were quite stylish. So Bonnie can have some really nice stylish tiles in her litter box now. And then sticking with the gray theme, I also got this apron, which was six pound. And I got it to pop on my new little peg shelf that I've shown in, a, in some vlogs recently. And we all agreed, all the girls agreed that this was very like William Morris print vibes and it will go in my kitchen perfectly because I've got all great greys and whites in my kitchen. So I just really like the pattern on it and I'll pop that up on the peg shelf in a minute. From Home Bargains, I didn't pick up that much because I literally was only there last week, but I did get this Aurora mug for work. My work mug is getting a little bit like just it needs a change, it needs an update. So I thought that I would get this mug for work because I love Aurora, one of my favorite princesses. It's got the pink Disney castle on the side, Aurora, and then on the back it says, I woke up like this. They had all sorts of princesses. They had like Snow White and Belle, but I went with Aurora. <laughs> and then Helena from The Blossom Home was telling me about this. It's Fabulosa. It's like a room and fabric freshener and it's in the scent Winter Angel, but it's like a snow fairy dupe, kind of like with the label and the bright pink. And you can just like spray it on things and like spray it in the room. By the way, excuse the paint on my hands. I have washed them, but I just can't get the paint off. Yeah, it just smells like snow fairy and I love snow fairy from Lush. It's such a nice scent and it's so annoying that they only stock it at Christmas. So now I can smell it all year round. And then last from Home Bargains, I saw these last time I went and I thought they were really cute. And next, home do ones very similar to these they're like little prosecco champagne flutes but with a heart it's like part of the valentine's day range and i saw these like really similar style in next but way more expensive so home bargains are obviously doing a little dupe of that oh gosh but i saw them last time and i didn't get them because i thought i don't need them but I just got them today because I thought they were really cute and wanting to do like a little Valentine's Day tablescape coming soon and this year on Valentine's Day me and Jake were going to go out but we've been out every year for like the last 
eight years. This will be our ninth Valentine's Day together, which is very cute. And then next year, we'll have been together 10 years and then we get married, which is just insane. Like being together for 10 years, it just seems so mad. But yeah, I'm going off on a tangent now, but basically me and Jake are staying in on Valentine's Day this year. So I'm gonna do like a whole cute tablescape. I'm gonna do the decor and he's gonna do the cooking, like a three course meal. I'm really excited for it actually. And I thought that we could use these little heart shaped Prosecco flutes. And even when it's not Valentine's Day, these are really cute. The only thing I thought was that it might be a bit hard to drink from. Let me try. Oh, it's actually all right. I can't believe I just pretended to drink a drink on the internet for everyone to see. Yeah, I just got them and when we've got people over, like loads of people having a party, we can, you know, we've got spare glasses and stuff. So now I'll show you my home sense bits and there were some really, really gorgeous things in home sense today. Sometimes you can go in and there's like nothing, is there? And then other times you can go in and you want everything. And that was, today was one of those times. So we saw these beautiful chopping boards. Helena actually spotted these ones. And I bought one of these in a round shape. I was just checking it, I don't have it over there. I, I like swap and change them all the time, but I bought a round one. And at the time I said that it was such a good Neptune dupe, even though it was round. And I wished that all, that maybe it would have been rectangular. And now they've brought it out in a rectangular one. And this looks so much like the Neptune chopping boards. It's that same like dark, but like whitewashed wood. The Neptune ones are more like rectangular like this. Whereas this one is more like swooping you know, design, but if you've got like a chopping board like styled in front of it, or you're wanting to use it as like, you know, on top of an island or something, it's such a gorgeous look. I love the whitewash look anyway. And I just thought this was such a good buy and it was only 9.99. So Helena and I both got one of those. They had honestly so much Easter stuff, but quite a lot of it is very like cutesy pastel, that probably that you wouldn't bring into your home personally, but there were so many things that I could have brought into the bunny room, but I held back. But then we spotted these neutral bunnies. We all got one. There was three left and we all got one. So it was like a sign. And this is kind of like a whitewashed rattan bunny. I mean, how perfect. It's like, it's not, ba it's not like basket material. It's kind of like pot, I think. Like, I don't know, ceramic maybe but like not glaze obviously, but then it, if I give you a close up, it's hard to describe. It looks like it's been whitewashed as well. So I just thought it was perfect for our neutral homes and it can just come out at Easter time, sit on a little, you know, coffee table or TV stand or something. I'll definitely find somewhere to pop it. Yeah, I thought it was super cute. It matches our home really nicely. It was only 5 dollars and yeah, if you are after some neutral Easter decor, head to Home Sense and see if they've still got this cute little whitewash bunny. Then I also got a new throw. I've been after one for a while. The ones I have in my lounge I've had since I've moved in. So you know we just want a bit of a refresh and a bit of an update. And I want to place this like on, on top of the arm of one of the sofas. And I thought it was beautiful. It's all like neutral and cream, but then it's got like very slight sage green flowers all over it. And it's got this like hem at the bottom as well, just nice and neutral but because I've got hints of green in my living room anyway, like hints of green on my cushions and stuff, I thought that it would complement the cushions really nicely as well. So I went with it. I was umming and ahhing and then the girls were like, just get it, Chess. So I did. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. It was only £20 as well, 19.99, And that's a really good bargain for home sets because sometimes you can be looking at that throw section and there's like blankets and throws for like £100, £200. And you're like, whoa, why is it priced that much? But this one was a real good bargain at 20 quid. We also got some new hand towels. I've been after some new hand towels as well. I'm really noticing that I'm going through hand towels much more quickly now that I'm washing my hands more often. That sounds really gross. That sounds like I never used to wash my hands. I did used to wash my hands, but now that I've realized that it's a touch to touch contact allergy that I've got with the hay or the bunnies or something to do with bunnies, I now have to wash my hands all the time basically after I even like give her a little stroke on the head I'm in the downstairs bathroom washing my hands and my hands are so dry so I need hand cream recommendations for you know really 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 dry hands but yeah basically long story short I'm having to change the hand towel in the bathroom more often because I'm using it more often if that makes sense so these ones are really cute they're very neutral and they've just got like a slight little pattern on them 
which I really like. I don't like anything too fancy because you've got that many like decorative pieces in the bathroom anyway. You don't want a really jazzy towel to take over the place. So I just went with these nice neutral ones and they were $5.99 each. Yeah, that was everything. Some really good bargains there as always from those fab shops. It's so good having those shops like on our doorstep, honestly. Maybe it's not a good thing actually because I literally go there every weekend and spend my money, but, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed coming along to the shops of us and seeing which things I picked up. So I've just got the boxes and they dry really quickly actually. I'm just trying to stack them so that you can see them all. Like juggling with some boxes. Oh god. Well, here they are. Here's the finished result. It literally took no time to do at all. You just need the boxes, a paintbrush, the chalk paint and a little bit of cardboard to like wipe some paint off so that you don't get like loads of big patches on on the boxes but yeah I'm really happy with how they look if you don't want to pay for the Neptune ones you don't want to wait for the Neptune time frames for them to come back in stock then I would definitely recommend getting these ones these orangey coloured ones from Amazon they do loads of different styles like trays from trays to boxes to deep boxes to tissue boxes literally anything and you can just whitewash them with some chalk paint so I'm just going to swap out the aprons. I did really like this one. It did really remind me of like white company vibes, but it's nice to have a swap and a change every now and again. I feel like I'm at a really bad angle. There we go. Oh, I love it. I really love it. The pattern is so cute. Sorry, I know this is the world's worst angle ever, but hopefully you can see the cute pattern. I might tie this actually so it doesn't hang below. I might just tie that in a little bow. Yeah, I love it and I love how it looks kind of like William Morris pattern as well. Let me lift up the tripod so we can get a better view. Oh my god, my arm is literally aching lifted up this whole thing. But yeah, hopefully you can see the pattern. It's just really cute. Very William Morris vibes and it was only £6. Just realised that I forgot to end the vlog. I was just busy like finishing some content, creating stuff and then my family came over. So I just realised I forgot to say goodbye. But I just wanted to close the vlog off and say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's little mishmash of a vlog and coming shopping with us and seeing which things I picked up as well. Yeah, thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time with a new video. Bye!